Hello everyone, my name is Ice from Ice Gaming and today I'm going to have a quick look at the version 2QI16 for the Warlords of Trainer. Now, before I start, I highly recommend to read an official blog post which gives you a quick overview of what has happened to 2QI16 since 2QI15 and give you a few tips and warnings on what to do when you switch from 2QI15 to 2QI16. So what we're going to go in this video is we're going to go through what is no longer available in a new version, what are there new things in a new version, and I'm going to give you a, like a short overview of the UI. I'm not going to go too much into details because you can do it by yourself when you install the UI. So without further ado, let us begin. So what is no longer available in the new version of 2QI16? Well, I think the run support has been dropped. It is possible that the developers will create an external plugin in the future, which will add the support back. So keep, again, keep an eye on the 2QI.org website if that will happen. Uh, support for low resolutions have been dropped. Any resolution below 1680 by 1050 is no longer supported. Uh, many parts of the UI are not skinned just yet. Now, what is new since version 2QI15? Well, first of all, is now new and improved welcome setup. That's right, there is a new awesome welcome setup if I press 2QI reset and click reset to default to kind of force you to show the... Yeah, here is this, the welcoming setup. It says, thank you for choosing 2QI. It is very short right now and involves two steps and the last step is a finishing step. So first step is here. It applies essential settings, click apply. Second step applies the correct chat setup. And the last step is to finish the whole thing. So it reloads the UI and positions everything just perfectly. There's a new config menu, which you can go into by pressing escape to QI. It is now much smaller, much better design wise, and things are much easier to find in here. Uh, you can now configure action bars to your liking in the sense that you can uh, now remove the side action bars by mouse over mouse overing the action bars and finding an arrow pointer. By clicking that, you can hide or show the right or left action bar. There's also a pretty neat feature, which you can use if you hold and press shift and then click on the arrow near the action bar. It will hide first two action bars, first like first two buttons. So this way all the way down, same goes to the right thing, which is pretty neat feature, I have to say, without going into the config file, without reloading your UI, allowing you to automatically set the specified amount of action bars, uh, yeah, action buttons you want to have. When you go to 2QI move, to move your UI, you have lots of different options here to move, like you can position the object tracker, you can position your uh, extra action button, but then when you first moved it, you you can't really put it back. I mean, you don't really remember exactly the exact position and there is no grid and numbers to remember to actually position it back to the, its default settings. So the only option that I was found and probably it was a newbish option, I always deleted the config file to make sure that the whole UI would be reset and I have to reset up everything again. But now what you can do is that you can right click on the object and it will return to its original position. Now the next feature is new 2QI help command. Now when you look at the chat and you just type slash 2QI, it brings the small 2QI commands where you can see the commands you can type and the short description. The real UI is still slash RL. Ability to select textures found for frames. Now when you go to escape 2QI and select for instance unit frames, at the bottom here, you can see that you can select different textures for different elements. Unfortunately, not unfortunately, but for the showcase purposes, I only have two QI add-on enabled right now here, but you can add different textures and change them however you want, the way you'll to your liking, you wanna have a flat or something like that. You're free to change it now through the in-game config. You no longer need to go and modify certain files. And you can also change the font. So there's a six default fonts installed, which you can use. Uh, depending on the way you like it or you're not, so you're free to choose whatever you want here. You can now set your data tags directly in-game with the 2QI DT command. So when you type 2QI DT command, you can see these bars turn green. Now what this means is that when you right-click on the bar, you can select what data tags you want to show. Now, second thing is experience and reputation bar are no longer under the frame, but they are positioned on the side. So as you can see here on the left-hand side here, if I were to be a level uh, 80 or I would level right now during the World of Drainer expansion when it hits this bar would be an experience bar and the bar on the right would be a reputation bar. Uh, overall the development is still in progress so as I said before many more features to come much more stuff to do uh, there's a tons of skins missing tons of skins are going to be added back so if you're missing all of those it's not going to be an issue just wait be patient guys developers creating this during their free time their free space and if you want to support them please do donate through their website 2qi.org or you can sign up for the 
premium subscription, which grants you certain benefits on the website. I hope you enjoyed this review and if you find it very useful, please share this video with your friends and family or with your buddies who you play World of Warcraft with. Uh, also, do leave your feedback on this guide because this is practically the very first guide I created and if there's some minor hiccups here and there because I'm constantly actually worrying about what I'm saying. But without further ado, guys, I'm going to say bye-bye to you and hopefully see you next time.